Today we're going to show you how to change the tub spring on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and a flat blade screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll do is to disconnect the power to the appliance. And our first step will be to remove the end caps on the control panel. Simply grasp the back of them and lift up, tilt forward. Disengage the little plastic locking tabs and set those aside. Now there's a Phillips head screw just at the front corner of that console. We need to remove both of those. Now with the two screws removed, we'll grasp the console on either side and pull it slightly forward and then tilt it up and back. It will support itself. Next, we'll disconnect the harness to the lid switch assembly. We'll lift up on the locking tab and pull the harness out. And we have two retaining clamps that hold the back to the main cabinet. With a flat blade screwdriver, we'll go into the front opening, push down on that clamp, tilt it forward, and lift those retaining clamps out. All right. And now we can remove the cabinet from the base and back assembly. So we'll tilt the cabinet slightly forward. And then we can wiggle it out from underneath the front edge. Simply slide the cabinet out of the way. Now with the cabinet removed, we have access to that rear spring. So with a pair of pliers, we'll grasp the base of the spring, push the tub back a little bit, take a little of the tension off. My angle push is... down on the spring to disengage it from the frame. You can rotate it out of the hole in the spring retaining clamp. Install our new one. Do the same thing. We'll engage the hole in the top first. And with the pliers, tilt the tub back. Hook it into the hole in the base frame. Now we're ready to put the cabinet back on. Now when we reinstall this cabinet, you'll note that there's a couple of slots along the rear that match up with two tabs on the base frame. And then there's a lip across the bottom of the front panel that will hook under the front of the washer frame. So the first thing we'll do is make sure that we hook the front in. You can open the lid and see down through there so you know that you've got it properly engaged. And there's also two little tabs that line the front up as well. Once we have those engaged, we'll make sure that the backs line up. And we can reinstall the retaining clamps. The rounded portion will go towards the front and the little hook will catch the slot on the back panel. Just take our screwdriver, push them into place. Reconnect the lid switch assembly. Make sure the locking tab engages. Rotate the console forward, and we're going to line up these two hooks on either side with two openings on either side in the cabinet. So those fit down into the main top, and push it back, lock it into place. Reinstall the two Phillips screws. These go in on a slight angle. Now they go into a plastic socket, so we don't want to over-tighten them. 
and strip that plastic socket. We'll reinstall the end caps. There's a tab on the bottom, and two on each side, and then two more on the top. So we'll engage the bottom one first. Make sure the others line up. Snap it into place. Reconnect the power and our repair is complete.